Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry, this is like the weirdest setup right now, but I'm at my kitchen table and my dog needed to be with me, apparently. He was just not having it. So he's on a chair with his dog bed on it, now sleeping next to me. I tried for like an hour to figure out a place where I could sit where he felt close enough, but anyway. Also, this looks different. <laughs> you get to see all the details of my skin today. Um, I have a new phone. This is an iPhone 13 Pro. It's the front camera. Um, I don't know how to, this has like no filter on it. I don't know how to filter. My old phone had like a built-in filter. You could, you could like choose filter, um, like how much it filtered your skin from like one to six. And I always had it on one, but it definitely gave my skin a much smoother, um, you know, look to it. I will say though that this phone is much more true to like my coloring, um, I do feel like the other phone made me look more washed out. This is much more true to like what I look like in a mirror, <laughs> like the cut my color, my skin and hair and eyes and everything. Um, but you also see a lot more of my actual like real texture too. I have a lot of texture to my skin. Um, lots of very oily, sebaceous hyperplasia. And I have a lot of um, my retinols pretty like peeling me pretty well right now. So you can see that too. Anyways, it looks different and all I, you know, I got my kids off to school this morning. My hair is just from last night. I just took it out of a bun. I just got it colored. Um, I got my, you know, my blonde. I usually go get blonde, put it in it about once a year and then like, and a cut. I cut about like probably four to five inches off. Um, and then I cut it myself a few times a year and then sometimes I do my own blonde. Um, but I actually went and got it done there's some spots that I feel like are a little bit warm or not quite as lifted as I want it to be. But um, I always feel like, because my hair was pretty grown out with my natural brown to about here, I always feel like I feel like I look different when the blonde's up next to my, you know, straight up next to my skin. So I'm just going to let it kind of play out and see how it does. There's also still some of the purple toner in it that you might pick up. I can't see it, but my... Um, kids and husband are like, oh, did you get purple in your hair? And I, I tell them to use a super purple toner because my eyes pick up yellow, like really like, or things look orange and my hair does go very orange, um, easily. And so you might see some purple in it. Cause I did tell her to do a very purple toner and leave it for a while. Um, anyway, this is a wax empties video. I haven't done one in a little while. Um, I don't even know how long this phone records for. My last phone would record as long as I want, as much memory as it had. And I have plenty of memory in this phone. Um, so it won't be due to that if it stops recording early. But some phones I know have like a max length video that it'll record or whatever. So we'll see. Um, this obviously won't be my recording situation always. Um, I just had a puppy situation here. Um, so anyways, we'll do scoops first. Um, my first large scoop from L3. This is Grapefruit Mangosteen Fizzy Pop. Um, I love this one so much that when she did the loaf of Palooza, she actually offered this in loaves and I got a loaf of it. It's really, really good. I fell in love um, with the Grapefruit Mangosteen oil from Kay's because Kay has, um, you know how she has lots of single oils and you can do all your customs, like whatever you want. She has the Grapefruit Mangosteen oil and I fell in love with that. It's just a super fresh yet juicy, ripe, uh, like mangosteen, but with this really bright citric grapefruit, like it's so realistic and then fizzy pop. So, um, and this is really strong and just bright and fun and vibrant. So went through this, loved it. And then I'm happy to have that loaf. I feel like I go through these large scoops so fast. I hear, um, people talk about how it's hard to get through scoopables. I feel like I go through them so fast. Um, and I know like they're like what, $8 and something cents. And I don't know, I might get eight melts out of them. Eight, I don't know. Anyways, I feel like I just go through them really fast, but um, love that one. Definitely already a repurchase. Um, the next one, I actually spoke about this on my Instagram this morning. Um, I've had this one, this L3 scoopable since last summer, I think. This is Blackberry uh, Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. I have this melting in my basement right now. The reason um, I wrote about this on my Instagram, 
I kind of overdid Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds and then I got sick of it. So I couldn't melt it for a little while. It, it initially is a scent that I love because it's this really musky, vanillic, like fluffy cloud kind of texture and scent. Oh, it's gonna make me sneeze. Oh, sorry guys if I sneeze. <laughs> oh, sorry Coco, <laughs> that scared my dog. Um, So I really do like it, but I have to kind of ease back into it because there's something in it. I think like once again, I just overdid it. It makes me a little nauseated, even though it's this beautiful scent. Um, and then it's mixed with her blackberry. I would say it's about 75% Boardwalk Mallow Clouds, 25 blackberry, but really good. She has a great blackberry. This is like a love of my life. Um, I believe that Angela from Wax Melts BFF on Instagram. And I always forget her freaking YouTube channel name. Why? Because I watch it all the time. Angela, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ooh, she's also doing the like, um, like donations for dog and cat food and supplies on Wax Melts BFF, but she has a separate page for that. I talk to her all the time. I cannot freaking remember her YouTube name. I'm so sorry. I do this every video when I talk about her. Anyway, she did L3 Customs and she came up with this one. And this is Rosemary Mint Peppermint Vanilla Bean Noel. I got this in a scoopable. I love it so much. This is probably my favorite mint scent, even over Winter Snooze, although they're quite different. Um, I went through this melt so fast. I actually went and got a loaf of it. And my loaf is already probably about a third gone. Like, I feel like I just go through it like water. So I don't know what it is. The rosemary mint, peppermint, vanilla bean Noel. Somehow that rosemary mint and peppermint come together and be make this super icy mint. And then that vanilla bean Noel is just creamy enough in the background that it just makes this smell like, this is going to sound really cheesy. But like, if you were in like a not a forest, but like a clearing in a forest and just light fluffy snow was falling and there was like a skating rink and people were like maybe eating like true like mint, not even quite candy canes, but like straight up minty stuff. <laughs> I don't know. It really has like this fluffy snow softness with this really cold icy air. I don't know but it's perfection. And I hope she keeps offering this because this is different than like her, uh, different like vanilla mint, uh, blends like sled lubricant. Um, I mean, she has a ton of vanilla and mint blends, but this is the best one and it's good job, Angela. I feel like I almost remembered her YouTube name and then it fell out of my head again. Okay. This was another fabulous one. Um, Another large scoopable. This is zucchini bread, warm vanilla sugar, and pumpkin pecan waffles. This is just a really nice bakery. Like, yes, because of the pumpkin pecan waffles, it's kind of fall. But I also feel like it's just a nice, dense bakery. But that warm vanilla sugar puts a twist on it. I don't think warm vanilla sugar smells body care-ish at all. It's a little bit woodsy in the base and a little bit musky. But it, to me, it's not necessarily body care. It's more like a sultry bedroom kind of scent. I wish the problem with the Bath and Body Works of um, like body care of this stuff is that it used to be this really strong scent that would last a long time on you and it doesn't anymore. It has hardly any scent anymore. I don't know why. But the oil for vendor wax is really strong and it's beautiful in this. It's that bakery warm vanilla sugar magic that I've talked about in the past. Really like it. Okay, those are all my scoops. I have a couple little cups here. The first one is from The Melted Moose. I was given this in a random act of kindness, and this is in the Lush Dupe Olive Branch, which is orange, lemon, green, I don't know, fantasy, floral, vanilla, and musk. I've heard it described in different ways. I This is my favorite scent from Lush, the Olive Branch. I love it very, very much. It's really this like earthy, like, not even fresh. It's like an earthy, cozy scent with a touch of clean. It just is this really beautiful, like a man could wear this, a woman could wear this, your house could smell like, like this could be like a signature house scent for all year long and you could be happy with it because it's like complex enough yet not too much in any way. And this one threw nicely. I will continue to have the olive branch in from different vendors in my house. Um, this is 
from Super Tarts. This is a cup in Rain Strawberry. This was in her Rain Sampler. Um, one of my friends, Dawn, sent me the entire Super Tarts Rain Sampler. I cannot believe it. Uh, and I'm so happy because I love her Rain Oil. So this one was good. I actually really liked the strawberry oil in this. It kind of smelled like when you are making like strawberry jello and you're like the water's hot first and you're putting the actual like powder in there. Um, and that like really strong jello scent comes up. Um, that's what the strawberry smell like in this, but it was mostly rain, which is fine. It's a rain sampler. So I did really like it. Um, I really like super tarts rain. It throws for me. So that's nice. Um, and I really enjoy it. It's almost like an earthy, musky, but not quite musky, fresh rain, but not clean. It's um, more like a realistic, earthy rain scent. I don't know. I really like it. Um, next up, this is a sample from Vintage Chic Scents in Pink Chiffon Jackie O. I think this kind of fell in line with her like more recent Valentine's release. This is vanilla bean cake topped with whipped marshmallows and dusted with pink sugar. I did not think I would like this very much, but I do. Um, it says pink chiffon, but I wonder if there's actually pink chiffon in this because no, I think there is. There's a touch, but I definitely get pink sugar too. And then that vanilla bean, like whipped scent in the background. I didn't think I would like this. I melted this sample and I went immediately to Etsy to see if she had any in larger sizes. She did not. This smells like this cutest, sweetest, like little Valentine's party. Like it's, it is bakery, but it's more like confectionery than bakery. It's really good. It threw for me. I definitely want more of that. If maybe next year, I don't know when she's going to re-release it. We'll see. Um, this is a small cup from Kay. She doesn't do these cups anymore, but she used to. This was in Relax. Um, this one is her like, I think it's like mint eucalyptus lavender or something like that. Definitely mint and lavender I'm smelling right now. Um, definitely like no sweetness to this at all. It's herbal. Um, this is her, one of her like spa scents. So this was really good. I spoke about it on Instagram, um, but this was really good. One to use in blends, one to melt by itself. Really strong. Love it. <laughs> Coco's just killing me over here. He's a little upset. I had to get a little angry at him because... Um, we literally, I literally let him outside like for 10 minutes, two or three times. And then I'm in my bathroom putting some mascara on and he comes in, looks at me while he's peeing on the ground. So everyone's feelings got hurt. So now he's like looking at me like, do you love me? <laughs> Situation. Anyways, um, this is a clam in fresh linen from Barrett's Wax Crafts. Um, I love Barrett's Wax Crafts. He has said that he's coming back in 2022. I am excited about that. Um, if you guys haven't had the chance to experience his wax, he makes a lot of good scents, but his fresh and masculine scents are out of this world. And if you're a lavender lover, his lavender is oh, like nothing else. Um, I made so many customs. So he used to do these custom bags in these, you could choose like hearts or stars or smiley faces or loaves, I think. I can't remember. In eight ounce or 16 ounce, um, weights. And I made so many 16 ounce and eight ounce, uh, blends of his lavender, of his mint, of his, uh, stainless steel blends. But one of my favorite blends is called cool linen and lavender. I don't know if this is the linen that's in it, but that scent is magical and beautiful and something that in the spring and summer I can melt daily, um, like fresh clean house kind of situation. Um, this by itself is phenomenal. I just cannot wait <laughs> to have his wax back. Okay, tons of bags here. <laughs> I'll kind of go through these quickly because there's a ton. Um, this is L3 Waxy Wonders. This is her two bunt pack in Barbershop 1920s, Pink Sugar, Peony Blush, and Suede. I believe this is another Angela blend. Um, I think she said she was trying to make it in memory of like hanging out with her grandpa. This was really good. I, I love all those oils. Uh, Barbershop 1920s, Pink Sugar, Peony Blush and Suede is a Joe Malone perfume type. I wear it. I love it. It's one of the freshest, like, peony, fresh rose. It's beautiful. It's a very fresh perfume. The problem that came out with this is every one of these notes is great. I would even think this would go great together. Some, something with this canceled each other out to where when you melted it, you just... It ended up kind of muting everything, unfortunately. I don't know why. It smells good in the bag. It's it's a great thought of a 
of a blend. Like it's something I would even maybe think of to do because it's like the notes are great. Um, but something, you know how just sometimes like blends just cancel each other out. That's what happened here. So not a repurchase, but if it had thrown and not cancel each other out, definitely a repurchase. Um, this was the pharmacist's daughter, Mary Mistletoe. This is Christmas time, white birch and vanilla and zest, like zest soap. Really good. This is like a really nice, um, slightly soapy, obviously holiday kind of blend. Um, I liked this. I even ordered a second souffle of it, I think, because it's just so good in the bathroom because it has that like coniferous mistletoe. I know mistletoe is not necessarily coniferous. Um, parasitic. <laughs> That's what mistletoe is technically. Um, but it's definitely like this green wintry tree scent mixed with like a zest soap and it was really nice and strong. Really liked it. Um, oh, I love this one. The pharmacist's daughter, freshly baked coffee house, pie crust, zucchini bread, and funnel cake. Listen, any of her coffee house blends, I just, I'm here for. Amazing, throws well. L3, double bunt pack and winter snooze. Love winter snooze. If you guys don't know, winter snooze is lavender, chamomile, and icy peppermint. I have like two loaves of this, like two or three more bunt packs. I love winter snooze. It's like an all year round nighttime blend. Um, sometimes even like when I post on Instagram, like my nighttime melts, those are things that I do melt. But then later on, like right before I go to bed, I'll change some, change it out to like winter snooze or something that's like a lavender mint kind of blend to just like literally lay down next to, um, and go to bed. So love that one so much. Um, oh, this is an OG bag from Rose Girls of Strawberry Shortcake. Um, so back in the day when she was able to keep more stock on her website, I guess before COVID, um, she had a few different strawberry like scents, strawberry oils, and she always had fresh picked strawberry, which I'm not a fan of strawberry jam, which is okay. And strawberry shortcake, which I know that's not a straight up strawberry scent. This is, if you guys are familiar with oils, this is strawberry white cake and it's really good. It's my favorite strawberry technically blend, but strawberry oil from Rose Girls. It's delicious. Um, one I will definitely get again. And one that I look for when she does blends with strawberries is that oil. Um, this was from my friend Candy. She so kindly sent me a whole sampler, the camping sampler, the Let's Go Camping sampler from Rose Girls, my favorite sampler ever. This is one of the chunk pairs from it. It's called Happy Trails. I love this one. I melted it in my room. This is a masculine, earthy, cozy, outdoorsy, like amazingness. I think it would be awesome of Jenny. And I know that the earthy masculine stuff does not sell as well as other things. But I would love if A, she redid the sampler, but B, she offered this sampler, but also in mini melters or chunk muffins or whatever, like a chunk muffin sampler of this. Um, I mean, you'd probably have to pay like 80 bucks or more for it because of wax prices right now, but two chunks of each cent just isn't enough for me. I love this one so much. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to if, if, and when she ever puts that sampler out again, this is a souffle from Hayden Rowe in lemon breeze. Um, this is like that lemon laundry scent. I put this in on cleaning day and it was amazing. I think I actually melted and, uh, Blended this one with clothespins and it was beautiful. So love that one. Very strong, always with Hayden Rowe. Um, a bag of our Rose Girls Mrs. Claus's nightgown. Love this one. If you guys don't know, Mrs. Claus's nightgown is um, garland, apple, and laundry. And it's beautiful. Like out of all the Christmas laundries that all the vendors do, which there aren't that many, this is my favorite. It truly is like this clean house holiday scent but it's like apple and garland too. So it's just really special and it throws really, really well. I think that specific bag, uh, my friend Susan sent to me. Oh yeah, this is the rest of my souffle from um, Hayden Rowe and clothespins. All clothespins I love, my favorite laundry oil, but for some reason Hayden Rowe's wax formula just makes clothespins smell the best. So clothespins I love getting from her. I have like a whole nother loaf and a whole nother souffle of it, so. Um, this was a puppy pack from L3 in Daydreaming. Sweet lavender, peach cobbler, and cotton candy. It was okay. I L3 has a very strong cotton candy oil, and I know that that is really good for a lot of you. It is not good for me. I have never liked cotton candy. Even as a kid, I don't like it now. 
<laughs> I know I've spoken about this before, but when I smell cotton candy, especially when it's like uh, like out for sale, like in the summer, I just want to take a shower. <laughs> I just think of being like sticky and dirty and needing to wash my kids' hands. And I just, I don't know. And it just tastes like pure sugar. I'd just rather not. I don't know. It just reminds me of needing to clean something. <laughs> and so I, in that one, I tried it because a couple other people said it was really good. I just, I can often do blends with cotton candy in them if you just don't, can't really smell it. <laughs> if it just brings a sweetness, but not actual cotton candy. So uh, not a repurchase. This was really nice. Um, this was L3, one of the four fluted tart bags. And this is Downy Blue Snuggle and uh, Blue Spruce. Now, interestingly enough, Downy Blue and Snuggle are two laundry oils that are kind of just meh for me. They're not amazing. Snuggle can sometimes like get that powdery, like catch the back of your throat kind of uh, texture to me. And Downy Blue is just, it's just okay. It's just this very specific scent that it's just not quite my favorite. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. It's just not my favorite. But with the blue spruce, like the blue spruce elevated both of those. It made, it was, blue spruce is a little bit sharper, woodsier. So it took the, that, like you could smell the snuggle, but it took the powderiness from it. And then it made, like I almost wish that they'd make like a blue spruce downy blue. Because for some reason, adding the blue spruce to the downy blue oil, like made it amazing. I think I had two packs of this. I think I've melted through both. I'm not sure, but I love this. I would love this in a loaf. Oh, and it 10 out of 10 easily throw. This was a loaf from L3 in Santa Sleigh Ride. I have one more loaf of this. I'm keeping it for next holiday, so I don't have to worry about ordering it again. Uh, Santa Sleigh Ride is brandied pear, cranberry, and pomegranate. This was a huge love and surprise of mine this last winter. Um, you know, we do a lot of like, cinnamon sugar bakery, tree, like a lot of those kinds of things during the holiday. This is just festive. It's bright. It's not fizzy, but it's almost fizzy because of how juicy and bright it is. Um, but that brown brandied pear puts a nice, like almost aged twist on it. Yet the cranberry and pomegranate have this like juicy, sparkly quality. It's just so good. And it throws really well. It's great for all holiday long, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, but also New Year's. Like, it's so good. Um, I'm so glad to have another loaf of that. I really like it. Uh, Pharmacist Daughter, this was a mini loaf in Silent Night. Freesia, aloe vera, chamomile, vanilla, coconut, and spearmint. I know that sounds really weird as a blend, but this was... To me, a floral blend that anyone could get with. Like the freesia was there, that really like soft feminine kind of floral, you know, if you've smelled freesia scents before. Chamomile was there a touch. The coconut was in there, but it just lended this like creamy, dreamy texture to it. I didn't really get much spearmint. The vanilla was there. It was like this lull you to sleep creamy, dreamy floral. I don't know, but it was beautiful. Um, on the softer side for sure, but it was really pretty. Um, Rose Girls Mini Melter Bag in Slurp. Love Slurp. Um, it's a cereal blend with some milk. Um, this one is for some reason on the lighter end for me. Usually cereal blends throw like crazy, um, but this one didn't, but it, I love it. It's like a creamier cereal blend and I really, really like it. Um, this was a mini loaf from the pharmacist's daughter. This is pistachio cake, Italian wedding cake, serendipity, coconut shortbread cookies. When I got this one, which for some reason I blinked that she had sold this one before because I posted about it and people were like, oh yeah, I love that from last year. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't like it from last year or I didn't smell it. I don't know. I love like pistachio desserts like in real life are one of my favorite things um pistachio fudge if you've ever had that oh my gosh pistachio muffins if you've ha ever had that um if you guys have a um it's a health food store we don't have any up here but when we lived a little further south oh my gosh why is it starts with an s springs sprigs nope anyway they make these amazing pistachio muffins. They're just like, they have just a couple little nuts in here, here and there. And they're these green muffins and they are so freaking delicious. I love pistachio stuff. Um, but 
so many vendors in vendor wax have that pistachio oil that it smells like cherry, like the worst maraschino cherry ever. Um, like it smells like Jergens cherry lotion, which I actually like that cherry, cherry almond lotion. <laughs> so weird. Um, but this pistachio here, it's actually that nutty, like creamy, amazing pistachio. Like it smells like pistachio extract almost. It's so good. And serendipity, I actually usually don't like either, but I like it in here. I ended up getting two or three more of these mini loaves because I loved it so much, bought them. And then in her last pre-order, it hasn't shipped yet or come out. I bought a whole loaf of it because I loved it so much. And it throws so strongly. It just smells like you have the most amazing sugary frosting filled bakery like going on. It's amazing. Um, uh, this was a little sample from the bathing garden in vanilla sprinkles. This was okay. It kind of like literally smelled like sprinkles. Like, you know, like when you open a thing of sprinkles, it smells vanilla, but it also has almost like a waxy quality to it because of the way sprinkles are made. Excuse me. So I didn't love it because of that waxy quality, but it threw okay. Um, this was, I think this was a Ouija board, um, from Phantom Shadows, uh, or from Phantom Shadows, from Britta's in Phantom Shadows. It's in Tobacco and Bay, Hipster Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. I love anything with her Tobacco and Bay. I melted this in my room, loved it. Um, I do like Tobacco and Bay with not as many, like it has her Vanilla Bean Marshmallow, which is a very good oil, but it does have this very sweet, creamy quality. So not my favorite Tobacco and Bay blend, but I'll take anything with that oil in it. Um, oh yes. Next up the physician, the pharmacist daughter in sweet mountain Java. Another one that I ordered a loaf of in that last pre-order. This is pumpkin pecan waffles, cinnamon, sugar, donuts, vanilla, butter, fudge, sugar, cookie, Royale, and coffee house. This is right after beans and cream. My favorite coffee blend from them. Um, it is coffee and then I would say next, the sugar cookie royale, then a little bit of pumpkin pecan waffles, and just very much in the end, that cinnamon sugar donut. I know that sounds like it'd be like fall or Christmas, and maybe it does lend a little bit there, but I could melt that any time I want to melt coffee. It's beautiful, throws well. Um, this is from l Roxy Wonders, and this is a laundry list, Spearmint Sweater Weather. So I was hopeful when I ordered this and did my haul that this would be better on warm. She just has the sweater weather oil that is not my favorite. It's not the candle version, it's the body care version and I like the candle version much better. I like that really strong smack you in the face sweater weather. So I won't be getting that one again. Um, this is the pharmacist daughter. This was just from her recent Valentine's release in um, Kissing Booth. And this was passion fruit, nectarine, pink sugar, sugar cookie dough, and blue cotton candy. To me, that one smelled like a fruit tart almost with like passion fruit and like nectarines on top. Um, so you kind of got that crust from the sugar cookie dough and it was creamy. It just kind of smelled like a fruit tart. It was really good. Uh, not a repurchase, but I did like it. Um, this is a love of mine. Destination Wax Mal Malabar Coast. Warm black Malabar peppercorns overlaid with light ocean breeze. I actually, I haven't ordered from Destination Wax in a long time, but this last month I did put in an order. I got two loaves and two clams. That's it. Um, and one of the loaves was this. This is just, I don't really get like, like peppery peppercorn. It's more like it says warm black Malabar peppercorns. It's, there is like this like, how do I explain it? Cause this is a very fluid, smooth, aquatic scent. Like that light ocean breeze is very like aquatic. It's not breezy. It's like the texture, the smell is like the texture of water. But the, but I do get the peppercorns is like this like heat. It's almost like if you had, I'm sorry, weird thoughts come to my head when I'm like explaining things, but it's almost like if you, like, you know how there's aqueducts. Um, I know a lot of them have like aged out, but if you've been to a city that still have aqueducts that are made of like stone that you see kind of running along the side of walkways or whatever, um, it, it's as if the stone under that aqueduct was like very hot and warm. Um, and like the, the air around it was like sun baked. And then you had this fluid, fresh water flowing through it almost is what this smells like to me. It's really beautiful and it throws really well. And I'm so glad I finally got a loaf of it. I think I had two of her clams of it, like 
they're the clams, you know, they're not in clam shells or in these bags, breakaway bars, she calls them. Um, and I've been through them and I was convinced enough to get a loaf. So, um, next up, this was a chunk muffin from Rose Girls in Don't Kale My Vibe. I believe Tashawn sent me this one. And this was grass, cannabis flower, and coastal kale. Love this one. I love her coastal kale blends. Um, not like my favorite of her coastal kale blends, but I did really like it. One that I might get in the future, not in large amounts, but I did like it. Still not as good as the other one that Tashawn sent me. Um, oh, don't be salty. Oh, that one is so good. And I don't even like the smell of cucumber oil in Wonder, Va Wonder Vax. Vendor wax, but man, that salty note, oh, it's just to die for in that. Um, oh, just, this was uh, the pharmacist's daughter souffle in beans and cream, you guys, uh, you already know. Uh, this is coffee house, marshmallow, sweet and creamy, coconut shortbread cookies. I have, like, I had a few souffles of it, but I shared it with a friend because she loves it so much. Um, and then I have a chopped up loaf of it that's about a quarter gone. And then I ordered another loaf of it in the last pre-order. This is just, you know, coffee scents I think are so subjective, but this is like when I just want a coffee scent that I know that works and that just hits the spot that you want, it's this. Like this is like my go-to coffee scent is beans and cream. Next up is Rose Girls Macintosh Apple Mold Cider Mini Melters. This was from winter or fall. I can't remember amazing. She has a great Mac apple oil and her mold cider is like what I think mold cider should smell like. Um, it smells like it's simmering. It's spicy. It's a little bit aged. Oh, it's beautiful. Love this one. Would definitely repurchase that. I'm a huge in the fall and winter cider scents. Huge fan if they're done right. Um, this was a custom of mine from Kay's in her cuts. Sorry, this sports bra is killing me. Sorry. Oh, okay. This is um, in her ivory oil, which she has an amazing ivory oil, ivory soap oil. And then Sweet Slumber. Um, I can't remember the notes of Sweet Slumber right now. You'll have to go look on her website, but it's a lavender blend. It's a house blend. I, I know that when you go read the description, it won't support what, I'm, what I think it smells like. I get from Sweet Slumber almost like a beachy, slightly like copper tone vibe from it. And I know that sounds weird, and I almost get this like, like if the ocean was coming up on a hot, wet rock, like I almost get that kind of smell from it. Um, I don't know. It's beautiful. Like I love it by itself and then mixed with the ivory so good. I think I'm going to make that one again. Um, but this time I would do a 50-50 ivory sweet slumber. I think last time I did a 75% ivory, 25% sweet slumber. I think I wanted a little bit more of that sweet slumber in there. Sorry, I keep playing with my hair, but I never know what to do with it when it's down. Um, so anyways, really good. Uh, this was a sample from Waxidents in snow covered pines, crisp winter snow, cranberries, citrus, patchouli, and conifer pine tree. Really good. I melted this in my bathroom. This is one that I do believe next winter I will be ordering. I thought it was perfect for the bathroom because it's this really sharp, fresh air pine tree scent that is just beautiful. You also get a touch of citrus there. Really good. Um, yeah, I think it's perfect for the holidays um, in the bathroom, especially. Um, I don't, that one does not have scent notes on it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so in love with this scent. I requested it. Um, this is from Vintage Chic. Kirby asked for scent requests for the upcoming, I don't know if she's doing RTS pre-order. I don't know what she's doing. I don't follow that group anymore because I want to buy too many things, but I, every once in a while I go in there and just peek. And I asked for this one. This is Sabrina Spellman. I have one more, like three rows pack of this and I'm hoarding it until I get more. This is a unique, such a unique scent. This is Palo Santo, Vanilla Lace and Cashmere Fig. Cashmere Fig is not used enough in the vendor wax world and it's amazing. And Kirby just made, I mean, this blend is perfection. The, you get the Palo Santo, you get just a touch of the vanilla lace. It's not my favorite oil, but it's beautiful in this and cashmere fig. This is just, it's pretty, but it's a little bit like, I don't want to say spooky, but it's mysterious is probably the better word. It's woodsy because fig can come off as a little bit woodsy too. It's kind of dry. It's not super sweet. It's just, it's really like 
unique and perfect. Um, and I definitely need more of that. I need like a loaf or two of that because nothing else is like it. Um, once this was just a bag, like an OG bag, I found like a couple pieces of Co uh, Rose Girls Coastal Kale at the bottom of my bin. Um, strong still, loved it, would definitely repurchase. Uh, the Melting Co. This is a brittle bar. Sorry, you guys can look away if you want to. This sports bra is giving me a headache because it's pulling too tight. Um, this was in Owen. This is Blue Sugar and Fresh Rain. Um, this was really good. It was about half and half for me. I will definitely be ordering more from the Melting Co. Her wax so far, I've only had three cents from her, but it has performed super well for me. Very strong, long-lasting, beautiful uh, brittles. Love. Um, the pharmacist's daughter, Sweet Cheeks. I actually melted this yesterday morning in the basement. This is Sweet on Paris, Blackberry, Tonka Bean, and Pomegranate. This just kind of smelled like a candied body care. Like maybe like a, a set that someone would buy you for Valentine's Day. Like it truly smells like a girly body lotion that smells like Sweet on Paris and Blackberry kind of a thing. Good, not a repurchase, but if you like those kinds of really girly scents, that's what that is. This was a loaf in Hufflepuff. I'm so sad this is gone from L3. This specific label didn't have the notes on it, but it's like pumpkin pasties, pasties. Whenever I say that, I think of like pasties. Um, was it cinnamon rolls? Either way, it's like a bakery cinnamon sugar blend. And this is so strong. Like half the time I melted this, I had to blend it with something else because like, the cinnamon would get in your eyeballs and you were like, oh my gosh. Um, but sometimes I wanted something that strong and this totally fit the ticket. She does still have a Hufflepuff uh, sampler on her website. I've been eyeing it, but I don't know. But I love, love this scent. The name is perfect for it. Um, and it's just a perfect fall blend. Um, this uh, was a souffle that I purchased from the pharmacist's daughter and not just a headache. It's their lavender and peppermint together. Amazing. Um, it literally is a beautiful lavender and an icy peppermint. Oh man, I, it smells so strong in here still. Oh, that's clearing my sinuses right up. It's beautiful. Like nine out of 10, 10 out of 10 throw. Definitely repurchase that one. Last thing here. Yes, last thing is Rose Girls Mini Melters. This was like her special mini melters in the fall. This is pumpkin pecan waffles and graham crackers. Um, I did get the graham crackers in this. Her graham cracker oil is good. Um, it You definitely get even like that smell of like when graham crackers kind of crumble. Um, but pumpkin pecan waffles is often such a strong oil, like blending it with something like graham crackers because they have a similar kind of tone. This, they have a different texture, the smell, but their tone is kind of similar. This didn't change the pumpkin pecan waffles that much. So it kind of just smelled like pumpkin pecan waffles, if that makes sense. Anyways, that ended up being a, basically a 38 minute video and my phone recorded it. So that's good to know. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I think all like my L3 pre-order cause it was three separate kind of orders. And then I have a few RTS things from them. I'm just gonna do it all in one video. Those should all be here by like Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So I'll make a video then. Um, I don't think I have anything else on the way right now, but I will be doing that video next week. So Anyways, um, I hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you later. Bye.